What was your favorite bubble gum growing up? Go. Hubba Bubba. Great. Done. I already knew it. I Did already you already know that? It. I knew that. Really? Yes. Yeah. We'd sneak to Circle K because I wasn't allowed to cross the street. Right. So you know to, what's funny though? Is you weren't allowed to cross the street, but they're like, Scott, go on and go across anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were, Even when you reach the same age as me, you still couldn't cross the street. You were expendable. You know what I mean? Like, we, we love you. We want to keep you, you. But yeah, but go ahead. Bottom line is yeah. he eats a lot. Yeah. If it's red and there's no cars coming, just run. Just go. Close your eyes sometimes. He eats a lot. What is <laughs> we'll be right back. Good morning. Welcome to we Wake, wake up. up. We Wake Up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Expendable. I'm Pastor Scott. <laughs> we love you. We, we do love you. We love you. It's yeah. just, you're replaceable. And that's good. <laughs> My whole life has been that. It's so good to have you with us. We're going to read a scripture. We're going to pray over your day. It's what we do. And what is our scripture today? Today we're just going to, we're going to hit uh, some Habakkuk. <laughs> and we're talking about what your <sighs> message I from... I got a little... <laughs> Habakkuk. <laughs> Habakkuk. <laughs> Habakkuk. <laughs> Habakkuk Dabra. <laughs> we're talking about... <laughs> Hocus Cadabra. Dabaka Hopus. <laughs> what is that from? Free coffee mug. <laughs> Hocus Cadabra. <laughs> um, we're talking about your message from two weeks ago. It was, it was uh, fabulous. You really talked about the pre's in life that we've got to have a preview. Right. And we've got to have a prepare. And uh, if you haven't watched it, you got to go back and check this out. It's, these are things that are important. The pre's are so important to your launch. They're important right. to your success. They're important to the they're important to the battle and to the game. What you do, uh, you talked about what you do in the practice field. Yeah. Uh, but today we're going to talk about uh, vision. Vision, which is to me, in a, in a sense, is a preview. Write the vision and make it plain on tablets. And I think that everyone, for the most part, they go, "Well, I know that," but you don't do it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Most people don't have a vision for 2018. We don't have time for that. We don't have a vision for 2019. You don't have a five-year, a 10-year, a 20-year. Like, in my mind, me and Holly, talk, I'm already knowing what I'm doing in 20 years. Yeah. Already, right? You do. Well, like, I do. I have a basic concept of what, yeah, the yeah. next 20 years No, it doesn't like, mean that sure. God doesn't change and stuff. Yeah. But, I, but I, I have. So, when I go to... I say, honey, we're, we're going on vacation, and here's where we're going, right? I don't, we don't wake up on the day of vacation and go, all right, we're going. And yeah. she's like, where are we going? I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you can't even prepare then. Yeah. Like, we don't know what to bring. We don't know what. Well, we, come on, kids, get in the car. We're going on vacation. Where are we going? Don't know. Oh, okay, is it hot? Is it cold? But when I write the vision, I say, all right, we're going to San Diego. Right. Right. I write that out, and I write it up ahead, long time ahead. Yeah. So now we know how to prepare for it. So we know what to bring. We know, I need. I know, you know, I have to get a house out there. I got to make sure we have a car. I got to make sure I have enough luggage. Got to make sure. So your preparation first starts with the vision. Yeah. I remember my me and Kelly's first Christmas together at being married, and, uh, <clears throat> you know, we're buying gifts for people. And at the end of the month, I realized we'd racked up all this credit card debt uh, that we were having difficulty making our own bills. Um, and and uh, thank you, by the way. That you're welcome. And after that first Christmas together, I went, okay, uh, this is about how much money we spent on Christmas. If we put this much money aside every month, right? Right. And so we began to prepare for Christmas. That's a really simple explanation, but we began to prepare ahead of time. It's for called Christmas a budget, so that you weren't, you know. When things come upon you, you're not like, oh my gosh, now we're in debt. Now we're having all these problems. Right. And I think that's what people do in their lives is, is they're, they're running into hardship and, and conflict and they're running into hard times uh, a lot of times because we didn't take the time to prepare right. ahead of time. So if we look at like, okay, you create a vision. You're like, okay, well, like you said, we're going to go on vacation. Well, we got to put money aside. Right. Well, the summer came and we didn't have enough money for vacation, but we didn't prepare. You didn't write a vision for 2018. Yeah. And, and uh, I love what Terry Seville Foy does. She does a vision board. I love a vision board. It's so cool because you, you, you write down things that you see about yourself for this year, or the next year, or the right. next five years. And you, you, you cut out things and you write. And girls do this. They like, oh, I still Oh, yeah, this. we don't do it. But they're making it plain on a, a poster and then they, they stick it somewhere. And, they and say, it well, stays in front board. of you. In fact, our wives out in the next office have their vision boards up on the right. board of what their, you know, what their plans are. I have mine too. Yeah. Where's oh, no. Time? I know. It's there. It's just blank right now, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> but but it's true. Like I have, but I have my goals written out. Yeah. I have what I'm going to do, and I have uh, and the same thing even for our sermons. Like I pretty much know the next four weeks of what I'm teaching. Yeah. Um, 
uh, but many people go from day to day and they don't have a vision for their family. They don't have a vision for their marriage. They don't have, and where there is no vision, there's perishing. There's perishing, which just right. means that you you don't hit God's best in that area of your life. Yeah. Um, if you don't have a budget, which you had a very good, we both had a very good budget, but mm-hmm. it's very similar. I put away money every month for car uh, registration, yeah. put away for birthday gifts, mm-hmm. for Christmas, for vacation. The vision then brings parameters into my life. I know what I can do, what I can spend, because many people are spending money and then they get to Christmas, like you said, and they go, hey, we have no Christmas money. Yeah. Because Christmas was a surprise. Yeah. Guess what? Christmas comes every year. Wait, when? I don't, I don't know, February. I don't know, sometime. I just got on my calendar. I don't, I don't have my vision board in front of me right now, so I don't know everything. So, but you what? Know, how about, how about when, when you set up, a, maybe you look at where you're at and you feel like, oh, I'm in a dead end spot right now. Maybe, you know, go back to school. Like night classes and go, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to try and get this. I'm going to try and finish up my master's and maybe it's going to take me four years because I'm working or whatever and I have kids and I have a lot going on, but I'm going to start, you know, chipping away. You know what that vision does? The vision also is is to keep the fire stoked. Like Paul said, he says, you got to stir it up, get them coals hot. So I was, I went to college for three and a half years and I had about 18 credits and they were all P.E. Okay. They were great. And I was great. You were very athletic. Volleyball. Okay. Weights. Yeah. Yeah. It was all great. I had it. Most of my stuff wouldn't transfer over. And all of a sudden, I got fired up in life. Like, yeah. I want to get through college. So, I made myself, they're not vision boards, but I made myself cool quotes. And yeah. I put them everywhere. They were in my bathroom. They were uh-huh. all over my bedroom. Uh, how fast? Well, I'm going to finish college in, yeah. uh, really, in two years, I was able to get there. And so, I put all everywhere that I, that I went, I put it all over the place. And in my car... And I'd see it uh, inspire me. Yeah. You get a little tired. You're like, oh, that's some inspiration. Okay, yeah, I can do this. I can put this through. And that's what vision does. Yeah. Vision, God designs you to need something to stir up your fire, to yeah. stir it up. For your marriage, marriage gets slow and it's like, ugh, and it seems like work. But then you begin to put a vision. You know, we're going to be. Yeah. Like we're going to be a happy, we're going to be a happy, crazy, yeah. passionate couple. Yeah. But How then, are we going to get there? But that's what happens. As soon as you know you're going to San Diego, you go, wait, if I want to go to San Diego, I got to get sunscreen. I got to get towels. I got to prepare. As soon as you go, wait, I want to have a great marriage. You go, okay, well, to have that, I'm going to have to read some books. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to treat my wife different. I'm going to have to get some maps. I'm turn gonna off to, the Netflix. I'm going to have to turn off the Netflix. get some information. Right? Yeah. So the so in our waiting phase is a pre- preparation phase, preparation. and our preparation phase is empowered by the vision. We look right. at the vision, and suddenly the passion is stirred to prepare for the vision. And in other words, uh, you you set yourself a health goal. I mean, that's a great one. Oh, I love that one. You say, okay, I'm you know, at the end of this year, I'm going to be thirty pounds lighter than I was when right. I started. So so then once you say, okay, thirty pounds lighter by September, you go, all right. So how do I get from here to there? Nachos. Right? So you got, okay, wait, like, it's oh, always nachos. You get, like, I got five months. Right. Okay, well, that's six pounds a month. Right. Oh, okay, I love so that's, what you're saying. Yeah. Right. So then I break that down. I go, okay, well, so that if I'm going to hit six pounds a month, I got to I gotta lose about a pound and a half a week. Right. Right. So then you have a goal and you're like, I think I could do a pound and a half a week. Okay, but now so what do I have to do to do that? Well, then you got to, like, go, okay, well, you know, maybe you're like keto diet, maybe you're like a carbs thing. But most important thing is it's not about dieting, it's about health. Yeah. Like just putting the right stuff in your body, maybe cutting your portion sizes down a right. little bit. Whatever you decide, whatever the spirit leads, but you set this goal and suddenly after week one, you're, you're down a pound. Suddenly after week two, you're down, you know, two and a half pounds. Suddenly after week three, you're down, you know, four pounds. After week four, you're back up two pounds. And then you're like, oh, I got to get a little more aggressive. I fell backwards. Chalupa. And that's what happened week four. All, week four is always the week. Well, of, I went to Disneyland. It's like, always the week of that Chalupa. That cost me 12. Oh, that's churro. That's like 12 weeks right there in one week. Because <laughs> you, can't, you can't say no to the churro. But you have, see, if you go to Disneyland, you have to eat the churro. Yes. You are going to gain weight. Yes. And that's okay. You need to. No, that's God weight. You embrace it. It's the and happiest chur- place churro, on earth. Churro of, weight is great weight. You yeah. know, my record is eight churros in a day. <laughs> Does that seem too many? <laughs> eight churros is, is toxic. That's, that's too, too far. $24 in churros. That's not bad. <laughs> I would pay it. It's not about the money for me. No, no. But that's a lot of sugar. How it, many grams of sugar is that? It, a half, maybe. Okay. Maybe more. <laughs> yeah, I'm ballparking now. It's the lie I tell myself when I go to sleep. What if tonight, right, we talk about this, what if tonight when you got home, 
you started your vision board. You started going, I okay, where do it. I want to be by the, by December? In these categories, financially, oh, health, in my education. I mean, we're going to try and have that business started. So so in, we're going to start that business that in September. That book, you're going to write, you're going to do. Yeah. And Love you, it. And then you, that forces, that stirs up the passion for the preparation. You put it up in front of you, right? Mm -hmm. And every day you're seeing it and it driving you, it's encouraging you. And then you find yourself in December, you're like, wow. Look what I look! Look at how far I've come. But look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done through you. Yeah. Let's pray over the day. You pray. Father God, I just thank you and praise you, Lord, that you are revealing to us by your Spirit those things that you have for us, that you stir up and blow up in the wind of our sails in our life, Lord, that we would uh, be able to be stirred up in our passions towards the vision you have for our life. And Lord, that we would follow this principle now, that we would make it plain on tablets, that it wouldn't be some far off, distant, ethereal thing that we just dream of every now and then, we'd start writing it down, Lord. These are the things that you have for us. And that would stir us up into, into goals and to uh, milestones and that we start make, making moves in that direction, the direction that you have for us. And that you would give us success in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for watching. Yeah. It's Hanging out with us. Thumbs up. Share it if you liked it. Put it on all the social media you possibly can. Make sure that you, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Yeah. Text uh, wake up no spaces to 84483. Yeah, or visit wakeuptv.tv or just type in daily Bible study on, uh, on YouTube. Or Hot Scott. Th that won't work. You sure? You haven't tried it. <laughs> I'm scared of anyone. I don't, don't even know it. what that would do. I don't even know yeah. either. It might take you back in time. I don't know what's going to happen. Don't do that, please. Daily Bible study on YouTube. And that's uh, subscribe to us. You can watch this at your leisure anytime that you want to. Be blessed. We will get in church this weekend. Yeah. Remember, God has hidden some great things in his house this weekend for you and for your family. That's right. Wherever your church is, make sure you're there. And here's the thing. Sometimes we feel like life is going on a down, and God's like, well, don't stop pedaling, because if you stop pedaling, you can't get up to the victory of the mountain where I want to put you. And I want this church not to be a church that stops. We're a church that keeps going. We're a church that keeps forgiving. We keep loving. We keep giving. We keep striding. We keep doing the best that we possibly can. Not just because my boss says, but I work hard. I give hard. I keep loving. I keep abiding. I keep hoping. I keep believing. I keep slinging my slingshot. Come on, somebody out there. I keep slinging. I keep swinging. I keep striving for everything that God has in my life. Let's be that church that doesn't stop the bicycle at the bottom of the hill. But we know that God's got a victory in store for us. And it's it's on a mountaintop that God, we don't stop just because of a bill. I don't just stop because of a doctor's report. I've got 120 amazing years on this earth. I don't care what a doctor told me. I pedal my bike because I know at the top of this mountain is his glory, is his blessing, is his victory. And the only way I can get victory, come on church, we ain't going to stop.